أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The Prophet frowned and turned away because there came to him the blind man interrupting. And what could tell you but that perhaps he might grow in spiritual understanding or that he might receive admonition and the teaching might profit him as to one who regards himself as self-sufficient. To him do you attend. So it is no blame on you if he grow not in spiritual understanding. As to him who came to you striving earnestly and with fear in his heart, of him were you unmindful. No means should it be so, for it is indeed a message of instruction. Therefore, let whoso will keep it in remembrance. It is in books held greatly in honor, exalted in dignity, kept pure and holy, written by the hands of scribes, honorable and pious and just. Woe to man! What has made him reject Allah? From what stuff has he created him? From a sperm drop. He has created him and then molded him in due proportions. Then does he make his path smooth for him. Then he causes him to die and puts him in his grave. Then, when it is his will, he will raise him up again. By no means has he fulfilled what Allah has commanded him. Then let man look at his food and how we provide it. For that we pour forth water in abundance. And we split the earth in fragments. And grapes and nutritious plants. And olives and dates. And enclosed gardens, dense with lofty trees. And fruits and fodder. Use and convenience to you and your cattle. At length, when there comes the deafening noise, that day shall a man flee from his own brother, and from his mother and his father, and from his wife and his children. Each one of them that day will have enough concern of his own to make him indifferent to the others. Some faces that day will be beaming. Laughing, rejoicing, and other faces that day will be dust stained. Blackness will cover them. Such will be the rejecters of Allah, the doers of iniquity.